What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fourth episode of Anybody Can Cook, the show where we prove to you that just because you're not a chef doesn't mean you can't make some bomb food. My name is Evan. My name is Joe. And today, we made some Japanese pork ramen. All right, we'd like to give a special shout out to The Flavor Bender for giving that, us this idea. Yes, and the rest of you to follow. Game. Everybody tripping, throwing it away. We was getting lifted, now we getting paid. Shame on you. I paid the cost to see apostrophes. Let's go over what went into making this delicious meal. Uh, first up was the eggs, super simple, just hard boiling eggs. Um, it recommends that you hard boil it for six minutes. Um, once that's done, sort of nice and like a little bit runny when you open them up, perfect eggs. Uh, Joe, let's touch on the pork loin. The pork, okay, so we went ahead and bought a pre-marinated pork. Um, you, you can marinate yourself, whatever marinade you like. Uh, we got 1.5 pounds, and we want to preheat the oven to 350, that's what we did, Yeah. and cooked it for about 35 minutes, so give or take 5-10 minutes there, depending on the size of your meat. Um, yeah, so once that is done, you have your meat done, you have your eggs done, all that's left is the deliciousness that is the broth. Uh, super simple, it's just, uh, so use chicken broth as the as the filler for it. Then you throw in stuff like soy sauce, uh, red chili flakes, we chopped up some ginger, we chopped up some garlic, and we got some little ground pepper on the top as well. Uh, once that was done, you mix it all in, and then you just let it boil. Uh, you rise it up to a boil and then you just stir it. You stir it for, for a good minute just to make sure all the things are just fully saturated in there. Then, once it's boiled for about five minutes, you cover it back up and you turn the heat down to low. You just let it simmer. You let it get all nice and juicy in there. And while you're doing that, hopefully you've got your your, um, your green onions and your, um, what are they called? So the bok choy. Yep. The bok choy uh, all ready to go as well. So this is basically the final step is the presentation, right? So. You throw in the ramen noodles at the very last uh, step. You let those cook for about five minutes. You throw in the green onions and you throw in the bok choy. And you just stir that all up in there. And then it's the presentation. We had we had the meat on top cut up in perfect in, uh, segments. Oh, uh, back to the meat real quick. Let it rest for 10 minutes before you chop we it. We almost messed up we there. We almost messed up there. Once, once it's done cooking, just let it rest. You can let it get all the juices. All right, so next up is the three things uh, that we go over every single time. The first of it being, how taste. did it taste? What would you give it? So we have to give it a scale of 1 to 10, like always. 1, disgusting, never want to try it again. 10, oh my god, I want to eat this every single meal for the rest of my entire life. Yeah. I enjoyed it very much. Just the right amount of spice. Um, the pork was fantastic. Uh, the greens were very good, a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Something I'm not really used to. Uh, so. Keeping that in perspective, I, I would give this thing a seven, a solid seven. Okay, okay. I, like I can definitely ramen. vibe with that seven, yeah. Typical ramen will have, you know, the, the, the broth much better level than we did. Like, the broth that we had was, 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 you know, took us 30 minutes to make, where typically broth could take upwards, you know, almost a whole damn day to yeah. fully cook. And That's you, true. And you render down all the bones and stuff like that to get it to where it's supposed to be. Uh, we did not do that, uh, so... That is where I feel like it was lacking, but we kind of knew that going in. So a seven is a solid number. Yep. Seven out of ten. All right. So up next we have part two, which is uh, how easy it was to make. Um, wow. So once again, we're going a sliding scale here. Uh, one, pouring milk in the cereal, super simple. Ten is ridiculously hard, complicated, lots of steps, etc. Um, Joe, where would you think that lies as far as how easy it was to make? Honestly, I think it was relatively easy. Uh, this is my first time trying anything of, of this sort, and there's nothing really too tricky. You don't really have to be too diligent with anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe the maybe the pork. You gotta make sure you get that out of the oven at the right time. That's for sure. Other than that, it's just putting stuff together. Um, I would give this a seven, eight. I'll go eight. <laughs> well, this is just for how easy it was to make. So that means it's ridiculously hard to make if it's eight. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> you mean like a two. Two. A two or three. Okay, two or three. It's got it. Two. <laughs> cool, cool. So Joe gives it a two. I would 100% agree. It's like a two or three easily. Three. 
Price point. Yes. How much did it cost? We we bought some very nice ramen. We could have went the cheap route, get get a dollar ramen. Yes, easily. I think our, our ramen cost what like five five six bucks a piece, so ten bucks total. About ten bucks. And we didn't even use half of it, honestly. So it was around nineteen dollars. Yeah, give it that. Not even ten bucks each. Yes, not the, even ten bucks. I think each. the biggest portion of the cost would come from the meat mm -hmm. pork. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, veggies and ramen are very very economical. Yep. So yeah, um, as far as the cost goes, extremely cheap. And extremely delicious too. Yep. All right. So I like it. <laughs> yeah. So that was our show. Thank you all for watching. That was week four. So we made something crazy exotic for you guys. Uh, up next, we will head back into the normalcy of sort of the adventures of, of Joe and Evan on Anybody Can Cook, the show where we prove to y'all that it doesn't matter if you're a chef, you can make some bomb food as an ordinary person, just like the two of us. My name is Evan. My name is Joe. And we will see you guys next Friday. Later. Peace. On my throwback. She don't care if I'm a platinum rapper. If she catch me with an empty magnum rapper. Keep it on the down low car to car. Sell it, you seen what happened to Mr. Big and R. Kelly. Uh, you know I can't fuck you. Anytime this chick is there for you. Spend